morning everybody it's Trish Palmer here from Parallel and Palmer Hypnosis uh, we're about half an hour early this morning because my partner decided to change the clock on my computer and all of a sudden I get this notification saying you're going live in one minute and I'm like hang on I'm supposed to be going live in half an hour not one minute so that's life the point is that we're on and we're we're doing this right now so yeah, so today is episode number seven and I'm going to be talking about external environments. Yes, an external environment is also an internal state and it's something that we create for ourselves. However, at the end of the day, when it comes to the external environment, what's going on can actually affect your client because so many people are going into different situations and they're getting this horrible, horrible environment and then all of a sudden your client might be going, oh, responding to that. And it's just not a place that you want them to be in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And it's just not the place that you want them to be in. Good morning, Julie. How are you going, Dale? So external environments is all about you and your clients. I hope you've got your cup. I've got mine. It's delicious today. So external environments is all about you and your client. The external environment can have, can have effect on you as a therapist, your clinic, and your client. But just before I get started, I'd like to announce that we have a mentoring program launching on the 1st of October. However, if you want a really good price and you want early bird access, contact me. You can click on the link below and book in a modern mentoring session with me. For half an hour, it's completely free and we'll have a chat about whether we can help you get your business off the ground. So in the Modern Mentoring, if you're one of the founders, you can start a month early and that'll be on the 1st of September for a heavily discounted price. So each month we'll have a healing session because, hey, even me as a therapist, I need some healing myself. You can also have a monthly brainstorm session with not only myself as a hypnotherapist, but my partner John. And John is very good at doing web pages, uh, tech, not tech stuff, Facebook stuff. He's absolutely fantastic at all that. You can also have free access to all of our online training as well. We have webinars coming up and things like that. We have a secret Facebook page that you'll get added to. So if you have any questions whatsoever, maybe you're feeling a bit less motivated or you're going to chuck in a towel or something like that, we can have a chat and we can help you out to get those clients in, to get those bookings, to get that finance up and going. We'll also have ongoing training as well. And we'll also do be doing social media training because social media is the way of the future and you need to know how to make it work. So we'll help you with your SEOs, your click-through rates, your absolutely everything you, know, you need to know. There's nothing I love more than just last night. I was sitting playing pool at the pub with some local girls and I'm getting sales. And it's fantastic that my service is helping so many people out there. So if you'd like to join our Modern Mentoring and be part of our Early Bird Special, please click the link when I post it below and book yourself in for a half an hour session with myself and my partner John. We'll tell you all about it and you can get started to your road to success. So external environments. The first part I want to talk about is you as a therapist, okay? So I want you to choose your style. Really brand yourself. This is not about you know, oh, I'm going to look more professional or something like that. Bands like ACDC got known for what they do because they had a style about them. Pink, she has a style about her. Lady Gaga, she has a style. Choose that style and really nail it. Now, just remember also, it's a good thing to be different, but be really good at it, okay? So choose your style. Doesn't matter whether you're from Victorian era, whether you really love that. Uh, I personally love flowers in my hair. I don't mind having my cat because that's part of my style. So choose your style and really brand yourself. As a therapist, you don't have to have the whole white room, white sheets, white this, you know, clinical shirt, blah, blah, blah. I've had clients in my clinic where I have gone and changed into something more casual because they've related better to that, especially when it comes to teenage children. And you as a therapist, you need to live it, work it, breathe it. Simple as that. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to be judged. And at the end of the day, just be the truest version of you that you can possibly be. Remember also that you are the authority, the authority figure. So step up for your reputation. If you are a hypnotherapist, 
then when people ask what do you do, tell them you are a hypnotherapist. Be very proud of that. Own that. If you're a beautician, then own that you're a beautician. If you're an accountant, own that. You're going to get judgment no matter what happens. So at least own your identity and live it, work it, breathe it. Social media is also a reflection of you. So it doesn't matter if you've only got a business page and you only add those people to your business page, they're still going to be able to see some of your private private pages by other people sharing your stuff. So social media is a reflection of you. So make sure as a therapist with your environment that your social media reflects you as yourself. Not what your dramas are going through, not dramas that uh, happening to your uncle or something like that. Make sure it is a reflection of the professional that you want to be. If you're having issues or something like that, just don't put it on social media. It's really simple. Contact your therapist or go and, go and put it in a diary. Talk to your friends. Go out to the pub and have a couple of drinks and chill out. Get it out of your system. Go play some sport. Do whatever you need to do. But keep it off social media because it is a reflection of who you are. If you look at my social media, it's covered in funny cat videos because I love funny cats videos. And that's a reflection of me. Also, you as a therapist, people are watching and they're always picking up on your energy. It's amazing the amount of times I've gone down the street and somebody has said to me, I know who you are, you're Trish Palmer. So, hi Julie. Uh, that she's like, I know who you are. You're Trish Palmer. You're a hypnotherapist. I've gone and played sport and then people have approached me going, you're a hypnotherapist. I've gone to another state and people have recognized me. So people are watching as much as you may not even know that they are watching. And the last point I'd like to make is also to be humble yet proud. If somebody says that you're good at what you do, thank them. Thank you for that. Because you can be humble yet still proud of the service that you're offering or the product that you're offering, how you've changed their lives, how you've helped them. Don't go into this, oh, well, I'm not really that good. Own it. Take the compliment. Be the compliment. Be the authority figure. Now I want to talk about your clinic. Your clinic is a reflection of you. So again, choose your style and brand yourself and be true to it. I am very steampunk, which is an artwork that I follow, and I'm very zen as well. So my clinic is actually quite dark, and it has a very big zen cat Buddha sort of thing, because I love cats, and it's got a very big cat Buddha. It's like half the size of a torso of a body. It's absolutely huge, and I've got steampunk stuff and clocks absolutely everywhere, because that is my style, and people love my room. I love even working in my room because it is a reflection of me. I love it. It's just an extension of me. The environment has more than just visual appeal also going on. So when you walk into a room, it's not just visual that's happening. It's also smell, touch, temperature. All these things matter. When I first started many, many years ago, I was really struggling. And I got to a stage where I actually didn't have the heater on. I lost a lot of clients out of that and I had to turn on the heat. I had to make it warmer in there and more friendly. Make sure your room smells really nice and all of the fabrics and things like that that your clients are sitting on with their chairs, they must feel nice as well. So there's a lot more going on than just a visual appeal. Also, your quality is representing your style. I have seen people who offer services and they've got some crappy fold out chair that's cost them like 10 bucks, seriously, upgrade. You really have to upgrade because it's all about representing your style. It may cost you a little bit of money. Maybe you won't be able to go out for that coffee for that couple of weeks, but at the end of the day, you're going to get a really good product and you're going to get notice. I've had heaps of people come into my room and they're like, wow, your room is fantastic. That automatically puts me in really good rapport it puts up my standard and my clients understand why my prices are priced the way they are because I'm a reflection of what I'm doing. And the whole lot matters. The entranceway, the toilet, the waiting room, the whole lot, the front of the, the clinic as people come in, it all matters. So make sure you reflect that. If you have a sticker on your car, keep your car clean because it all matters. Make sure you are at that level of quality that's representing your style. 
So even in my toilet, I have a lot of ferns in my clinic. So in my toilet, I have wonderful big ferns and lighting going on because I want my client to still have that feeling and that energy as they flow through my clinic. Adjust absolutely everything. This is an experience for your client and that you will be uniquely known for it. I actually have a massive chandelier in my roof and it's very steampunk style. So it's, it's got these black pipes in it and these big Edison bulbs with the filament through them and stuff like that. And it's a talking piece. People actually lay there and gaze at that, that chandelier and go, wow, I love the lighting in here. I keep it very ambient as well. So it's really quite low. And you just adjust everything, make it uniquely yours and really represent your style. And again, be humble yet proud. I love that people want to talk about my lights and my curtains and my Zen cat and things like that. They get this wonderful feeling as soon as they walk in and it's amazing the amount of times a new person will come in to my clinic, they'll sit down and they'll go, I just know you're the right one for me, I can feel it. And that all comes from my room. It's not a clinical room. I'm not all dressed in white or very sterile and things like that. I keep my room very, very clean, but at the end of the day, it doesn't feel sterile, medical or anything like that. That's just not my style. So find your style and go with it. Your client will reflect the environment. That's what we're all going for these days. <clears throat> If places are being get left behind, like I've had, uh, I've been reading a lot about my local area and some of the restaurants that are failing and things like that. And that's because we're part of the new experience era. People want an experience. It's no longer about just getting a, a schnitzel at the pub or something like that. It's about having all of these options and experience. They want to go to a cafe because they have a unicorn milkshake. It may be just a standard milkshake, but all of a sudden <clears throat> they've got a glass, it's in the shape of a unicorn, they've got all these sprinkles happening, blah, blah, blah. People are looking for an experience. And it's the same with you as a therapist. It doesn't matter whether you're a hairdresser or what you are, people are still looking for an experience. Because if you're going to be a run of a mill, same of everybody else, then they're just looking for a price, not an experience. And I don't want those kind of clients. Also, <clears throat> Make sure that you're in a mindset where you can blow expectations. I love my room. When people come into it, they're like, wow, they love it. When, people, when I come out with the information that I have, they're like, wow. Really blow expectations when it comes to your client. I have programs that I sell to my clients and there's been heaps of times where I have said to them, look, it'll take this long and I would like to do a pain one for you completely for free at the same time. I'll just add that into your package. And they're like, oh, yes, I would love that. I would love that. So make sure that you are going to blow expectations, an unnatural mindset as such, because they're not expecting it. Also understand the way your client dresses, the way they speak. This is a reflection of the environment they hold within themselves. So they're actually bringing their home environment to you. You can gain valuable information from this. Help your client understand how the environment they are living slash working in can, infect, can affect the internal environment. Um, I have heaps of clients. When they first can't start coming to me, they're wearing their Ugg boots. And I had one lady who just got straight out of bed every single day, uh, didn't brush her hair, just wore her jammies that she'd slept in. And by the time I'd finished working with her with her program, she'd started wearing her jeans again. She'd started putting on her nice shirts and stuff like that. So your client is actually a reflection of their environment and their lifestyles that they're going through. So have a look at that. Listen to the way they're talking, what they're wearing, the way they're holding themselves, because they're reflecting their environment. If your client's environment is of low quality, do not be afraid to do a session with them about raising their standards and their self-worth. Give your client what they're needing because this is something that they're wanting and they just don't realize it. That's all it is. So don't be afraid to just do a coaching session, even if it's just for half an hour, about how they can raise their standards and have more self-worth. And this is happening everywhere, okay? It's happening everywhere. It's all about the experience. On Facebook, everybody wants to customize their images, they want to filter their photos, they want to have all this customization going on 
and that's what's happening they, they're now bringing in colors for groups and stuff like that so everybody wants a unique experience it's happening at pubs you'll go to the pub and it'll be the house of schnitzel so they specialize in schnitzels or you'll go to the thai restaurant and they'll specialize in a prawn dish of some sort or you go out eating it doesn't matter where you are people are looking for an experience of some sort they'll have mario kart nights or um roaring 20s nights and things like that even at accommodation they're doing it so you can have the king suite where it's designed to just do nothing but pamper you you can now book rooms that are medi medieval suites or hello kitty or something like that it's happening at parks and shops as well so you're getting a unique experience there you walk into a shop and they have particular music playing and they'll have ferns everywhere because they like very tropical things you can go to bars these days that are just hawaiian themes that are just rum bars and things like that experience is the new world and that's what you need to look at when it comes to your particular clinic or environment what kind of experience are you providing for your clients they want something unique they don't want to just sit there and listen to your jabber anymore and things like that they want an experience that's what they're paying for and they want a really good experience so look at your clinic look at yourself and see how you can be different and good at it have a really good look inside yourself so if you have any questions please chat to me below write down your questions i'm happy to answer them and if you'd like to book in for your free modern mentoring session please do just click the link below and book in for half an hour. It doesn't take very long. You can meet myself, you can meet my partner, John, and we can have a chat about how we can launch your business into the future because business is going online and if you're not online, you're going to get left behind. So if there's anything you'd like me to do a video on, please let me know. We had a request for doing pricing for these services. So next week will be episode number eight. We'll be talking about clinical systems and how to price your service. But otherwise than that, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.